Okay, let's take a little bit more detailed look into my redone 100% happiness spectacle island build. So I've added these fences to the boardwalk. In fact, I've added to, to the most of the new boardwalk. And we've got some lines as we can walk down like the sophisticados as we are into this quaint little hallway filled with lovely paintings and a nice metal curved roof yeah, because I'm a dog lover that's why and here we go to the redesigned main boardwalk of Spectacle Island as you can see we've got a huge roof which cost me a lot of resources and it's all lit up the walls are higher and I had to cheat you, as you can see we've got a dirty little space there but I think it looks better with the it, it kind of boxes you in makes it a little bit more realistic I think or at least unique with the higher wall and this is my main crafting area I've got my power armor nice cherry red got a weapons bench and uh, some nuka cola to get from there which I haven't stocked up and some a chem making machine with some dirty red liquid yeah but these paintings not only does it affect happiness but it also makes it look lived in and much more realistic and looks much more pleasant cool over here we've got a redesigned marketplace and we've got everything general uh, armor weapons clinic and clothing you notice that weapons and armor is not staffed at the moment I've got them st the other ones who are meant to be here on another place and that is because for 100% happiness rating uh, I needed them to do something else but this is the main marketplace and the most important thing is the bigger walls I managed to plug the holes for this part and I've just strung it up with some railroad flags and some nice paintings and as we can see it looks a lot nicer don't you think over here I've added a door not much to it though but I thought it made it look a bit more lived in I suppose um, let's not check out that places we've seen it in the other video hasn't changed much from them except now the bunk beds I've littered them all with all as you can see even from this location littered them all with paintings and lights just to lit them up just I went full I went crazy with the paintings I needed that 100% I needed it here's my redesigned sculpture I've got two revolutionary fighters wrestling with their guns and both of them have got glowing uh, penises uh, in the form of lights uh, this bell actually does has a function it increases happiness and it has gets all our settlers into one place so it makes it easier for players to assign them tasks the bed is here and the cooking station is still here I got rid of the pot plants and I sort of moved them around here and this is the other side of the boardwalk we've got a general store it looks quite comfortable there I do like the paintings I really do um, I tried to get some more height with these walls but I just couldn't in order to fit my turrets I'll close this door for now uh, this is clothing he also sells clothing as you can see he's got one item there I'm not can't tell precisely what that is but yeah nice and quaint I like it and this Near the drug sign is the doctor's clinic. Alright, biohazard sign. And we open up there. And this, I think, is one of my favorite parts of this new redesign settlement. I mean, look at this. It looks so beautiful, isn't it? This scene right here, you can see the color paintings, nice and colors, pinks and blues. Uh, I got some dead foliage here. This couch was made with two pieces and I glued them together. And here we've got an actual magazine or some tails with a gorilla on it and a nice funky little table here for the little waiting room shall we say a drinks 
say if people are in pain they can drink some nuka cola and starve to my by my go doctor uh, not right now but she functions it we got some buff out we got some medex we got some drugs here uh, some bloody bags around here and yeah, it's just beautifully decorated with these paintings and these signs. Candy sign for children, in case they get scared, poor children. Uh, been to, you know, to throw around the, the uh, gloves and bloody rags, sort of things. And we've got the doctor's implements, we've got a microscope, we've got cutting scissors, and now clear. And some duct tape, to duct tape the injuries. <laughs> Uh, and so this bed, I don't have a, what's it called, a gurney. So this will have to play the part of a gurney, this bed. But, it's pretty damn cool. I'm very proud of this clinic. It looks pretty beautiful. Alright, let's exit out. So this patio part hasn't been changed that much. I've just added the smoking stuff and some ashtrays. Um, yeah, not much to say really. And here is my games area, and it's you can tell it's games area because I've got some carpets decorated with some ferns. We've got a proper table here, my pool table. I like pool tables because the mesh actually, uh, these balls you can see in these pool cubes, they won't be knocked about, they'll stay in their position. Uh, it's all guarded by my T45 armor, railroad paint job. We've got a TV which I can turn off and on. Pretty damn cool. And a nice couch. And it, I like the roof of this place. It makes it much more cozy, much more lived in. Okay, before we go into the redesigned nightclub, we'll take a little bit to go down to here those are my bunker hill um, trough I suppose uh, where we get most of our trade just moved a little bit still strung up though and here we got the clinic and another clinic I really like a uniform and we've got a bar and so this I like this uh, this overhang was meant to fill in the holes in the boardwalk but I used it, it made like a little roof, a little veranda and I strung these lights and it looks pretty cool doesn't it? I really do like this. It, I didn't want to do this because as you can see Spectacle Island is uneven and the sand usually fills it which gives an interesting look but it also makes it look a little bit stupid. But I kind of like the look of this veranda nice little shops here yeah quite proud of that these are the bunks we don't need to see that I moved the dog kennel here and the little dog bowl nothing too much interesting the farmer got rid of the mute fruit I can't get rid of this dead body <sighs> thanks a lot Bethesda but there's nothing I can do I can't scrap it I can't move it and if I did move it it'll just respawn there but the reason I got rid of the mute fruit, even though it gives you more food for your sediment, is because if I try to talk to someone and they're picking the mute fruit, like this uh, girl here, um, this young lady, it won't. I'll just end up picking the crops. Seems to be growing well. Like that, instead of talking to them. Some water because I needed extra water because I got rid of my industrial water. And this building with the concrete wall and the paintings here is another restaurant for the bunker here people, just for them. And everything's all lit up, everything's directed. We've got some waffles, some Nuka Cola floats, hot dogs, liquors, everything you want. A nice dining room table where someone's uh, enjoying a meal of Gorilla and Nuka Cola. Great. And a jukebox, which gives it more colour. I really like the colours. Look at that, all those colours, green and purple, great. And once again, I do like to look at these window type pieces with the uh, these uh, fabric. You can pee in here 
and we can take see if our Brahmin is still there yep it's still there take a look at the farm great and just a little restaurant for my Bunker Hill peeps great and this is the house the private residence for me and my son Sean as we enter the door once again this is different it's stacked with paintings yes um, but it's also littered from the outside as well as you can see lots of little lights lots of revolutionary era paintings this is a unique decoration the basketball hoop so me and my Sean uh, my son Sean can play a basketball and let's head inside it gets too windy and as we can see this is lovingly decorated a little bit sloppy done however once again paintings adorn the wall of the Cabot family we've got a nice reading chair here with my favorite bottle of rum we got a container here so we can store lots of stuff and these are junk items a real working radio I'm not going to turn that on um, feather duster and an iron this is where I store the new location where I store all my bubble heads. Yep, I've got all of them. I have no life. Um, it's decorated with potted plants. As you can see, this is my bed. We've, I've got a suitcase underneath. And this is Sean's bed. He's got his own little box here which can store stuff. And we both, if you can see, got secret hatches where we can store more stuff. Milk, it's a nice piece of decoration, doesn't do much, just a container, ice and Nuka cola Because we own this island and we're rich and this place is just decked full of this bubbly carpet And right here, this I think is the most cutest part of this build We've got a computer and a computer desk Complete with a globe and a little chair So Sean can s come here sit here and study while I sit there read a nice book and maybe drink a little wine maybe let's go into this building right here and this is a tourist trap this is a clothing and general trader store I sourced this Brahmin head from a dungeon and this is Anne from the radio station yeah she talks about radio plays even though I got her doing the clothing store this is a tier 3 clothing thing, but she changes it to tier 4 because she's a unique character. As you can see, she's got several items in stock. We've got baseball gear, we've got armor, a suit, lots of cool stuff there. Oh, free jet. And what I do like is this table with these little shopping carts so uh, buyers can buy them. A little chair for little old ladies who get tired who can sit there and of course once again paintings make everything more, look more beautiful and here are a bunch of counters we've got hats we've got more shopping trolleys we've got fuel for mr. handies we've got a bunch of leather goods and a magazine rack lots of shopping can be done here I didn't have time to stock at the shelves though anyway so we go down the boardwalk as you can see this is my artillery it was staffed by someone but I had to use her to man one of the stores it's all lit up and it just looks nice I suppose right and these paintings are from the once you finish the quest the uh, with the Cabot Manor you get these paintings interesting but creepy at the same time so boardwalk as like I said it's all boxed off and this is my reading room we've got all my magazines that I've collected look at them looks beautiful especially at night it's all lit up it's all ready to go um, I just need to fill this one then then look at that so detailed unbelievable and we've got some nice whoa they're meant to be nice but they're all scraggy uh, it's just a nice little room 
a place where I can show off my magazines that I've collected and people can, you know, hang out and chill out and read. Smoke some cigarettes. And I like this bit, this little walkway here. And it connects with this other walkway here. And within the water, I wish I had more opportunities to do this. Just, I just love walkways around the water, which wasn't my part of my original design, but it was an un unable to do it. So I changed the colors, but it looks so much more nicer of these light sources and this one too. And everything's lit up as we can. Just give it a bit better shot around here, perhaps. And we can see our light source. I haven't changed much here. Like I said, this is now tier 3, staffed by our uh, dapper gentleman here. Uh, I don't think I've shown... Uh, thank you. I don't think I've shown a bunch of drinks. Not that much, but he's got a lot in his inventory, don't worry. They're playing checkers here. We've already been through that in the other video. Uh, let's go upstairs. I've actually spent the time to putting some paintings here. Makes it much more light nice, I think. As we go up the stairs, this is relatively unchanged. Uh, we still got moldy food, we still got beers. But this time, we have a, a bar on top of the bar. It's just a nice view, and she, she, she'll, she'll sell us drink. Um, and we can have a nice view. We've got the, the city of Boston over there and our shanty town. And we can look at all the buildings. And it's just a lovely view. It's, it's just, I think it's just nice, nice and cute for a little bar on top of the bar. Okay. As we can see, we can take a nice look of you there, see the rest of our settlement. And as we go downstairs, let's see. And I think that's it. That's the entire settlement. My redesigned Spectacle Island for the 100% happiness. Finally proud, I've got that achievement. It looks really nice. And I guess it's now time to celebrate. <laughs>